Hello everyone. Uh, we will see how to do AMI deployments using Harness. Now, before we start, let us look into the prerequisites first. We must uh, need to have an AWS account as well as uh, an Harness account. What you see here. Uh, then we must have our delegate installed, and uh, uh, we need to have a certain IAM role with policies such as Amazon EC2 full access. Then we need to establish our connector with our AWS account. Now here, if we see that I have my uh, delegate already established and it's source connected. And if I go to the connectors, I have my connector already established uh, uh, to my AWS account. Uh, then uh, we need to, you need to have your AMI ready, which is your artifact and only private AMIs are supported. Now you also need to create your application uh, load balancer as well as uh, now you need to create your target group created for the same uh, and uh, we also need to have our launch template json as well as uh, the asg auto scaling group json now we'll just look have a look uh, how does it look here so this will be the launch template uh, uh, json that i'd be using as well as uh, you know this would be my uh, auto scaling config uh, no, just that I'd be uh, using. So we need uh, these two files uh, as a prerequisite as well. Now, what we're going to do is uh, now let us start creating the pipeline. Now here I already have this pipeline. So we'll just go into and see, you know, what are uh, the components of it. Now this is a pipeline studio and these are the stages. So we'll be using the deploy stage and each of the stage will have execution steps. Now, if we go into the overview, you can give the stage name and the deployment type would be AWS auto scaling group. Uh, and if you go to the service, you can give uh, the service name, you can recreate it or you can actually go ahead and create it here by using add service. You can view the service inputs as well as you can uh, uh, give all of this information as to what is your deployment type and the launch template, which I showed a few minutes back. We need to give that reference here as well as auto scaling group uh, uh, configuration file reference here. We can uh, you know, give if, if there is any scaling policy, which is optional. And we need to give your artifact information, which is my uh, AMI and any other additional information if it is required. Then going to the environment, we need to specify the environment name. We can create a new environment or select an existing environment and uh, uh, in the environment, if there are any specific information or configuration or manifest we need to provide, we can provide it here. For each environment, we can specify the infrastructure. Now here, if you see, this is my infrastructure. And if I just go and show you here, I'm using my connector of which I have created for connected to my AWS account. And this is for the region Mumbai that would be doing. Going next into the execution step, uh, we'll be uh, doing a rolling deployment. Now here, Harness takes the launch deployment template, what we saw and ASG configuration file to create new ASG auto scaling group and its instances in your AWS account and the region. For example, here I have selected uh, Mumbai. Now, if I go into this, uh, so here we have all of these steps. You can just you now go ahead and drag and drop the step. So if you can go, I've used this step for rolling deploy, you can actually use for rolling back. You can use as a further step uh, for rolling back uh, in case of uh, failure. Now, if I go into the execution history, uh, here we can see for, uh, for my deployment, let us get into here, get into console view. So we can uh, we can see uh, the steps of the execution. So what it has done is, you know, it has taken up the configuration, what we have defined in our service, any service overrides for the infrastructure validation it has been done. And then it did a rolling uh, deployment. So it has created a new auto scaling group as per our definition and it has done the deployment. So as you can see, the rolling deployment uh, finished successfully. So this is how uh, simply and quickly we can go ahead and uh, do a rolling deployment.
uh, where it will create an auto scaling group take your launch templates as well as hg configuration file and do the necessary deployment for your artifact or the ami that you have selected now we also can do a blue green deployment as well now if i go to the blue green deployment pipeline uh, now what it does in blue green deployment is uh, the first auto scaling group is deployed and is given a suffix using a format with your app name so for example my app name is this underscore one and the second auto scaling group is deployed and given a suffix name as app name underscore two now every subsequent deployment will simply create new versions of these auto scaling groups instead of creating new auto scaling groups so the third deployment for example will create a new version of auto scaling group with your app name underscore one route product product traffic to it and route stage traffic to uh, auto scaling uh, group asj your app name underscore two for example so you will see that here now if i go to the deploy step all of this configuration mostly remains the same what we have seen for service as well as uh, environment and we'll quickly go into the execution here what i've done is i've used a, a blue green deploy step as well as a blue green swap service for swapping the traffic now here we we give the name we can give the timeout we give the load balancer configuration and we can give you a prod listener as well as your stage listener uh, information here with the necessary ARN, ARN, ARN. Now, if you go to the execution history uh, for this, we can uh, see here that uh, this has been successful. Now, if you go to the logs, similarly, your service definition has been identified, your infrastructure is validated. Then you go to the uh, blue green deploy step now here what we can see is it has fetched the necessary files prepared the rollback data and did the deployment if you see uh, now it has created those uh, auto scaling groups as blue and green and it has stacked so this particular example so for example it has we can see that now it has stacked uh, green for app name underscore one as green and other as blue now the next step is a swapping service now it can uh, you know it, it swaps uh, the traffic so what happens in a asd blue green deploy step what we've seen is you specify the production and stage listener ports and rules to use the new auto scaling group is deployed to the stage target group and uh, auto scaling group blue green swap services step uh, what it does in that step is, you know, Harness modifies the ELB product prod listener to forward requests to target groups associated with new ASG version. Now, Harness swaps all traffic from stage to product you know, production listener and ports and then modifies the ELB stage listener to forward request to target groups associated with the old ASG version. So what we see here, you know, it has done and it has updated and it has swapped the traffic uh, uh, successfully if you see now this is how blue green deployment is done and uh, uh, if i go back to editing the pipeline uh, if i click on add step you have all of these steps here where you can do a blue green deploy blue green rollback as well as swap service i've just used a blue green deploy as well as swap service you can also use a blue green rollback and in case of any failures you can actually automatically roll back and have so necessary steps or approval in mid as well so similarly we can also do canary deployment uh, as well now what canary deployment does is uh, the asg or the autoscaling canary deployment uses two step groups the first step group would be a canary deployment and uh, it deploys a new asg version with the name of your asg and the extension for your app name underscore canary it creates a new one the canary asg version can use the desired capacity in your asg configuration file or you can set in instances in your deploy step now let's get into the pipeline and see that now if i go here uh as you see there are two step uh, groups one step group i'm doing a deploy and once my canary deployment is done i'll delete the canary all all goes good then i'll do a rolling uh, deployment uh now uh, the first uh now if i just go here you can see uh you can you can select to do in how many instances you want to do a canary deployment uh 
you want to define the, give here it will take this or it will take you know what we have defined in your auto scaling group configuration file similarly once that is done you can actually you know go ahead and delete the canary and then go for a rolling deployment similarly what we saw uh, so the first deployment will deploy a new ASG with the number of desired instances you've defined for example in here one with our ASG configuration file what we have mentioned already and uh, any other configuration file if we need can also be applied now what happens to the subsequent deployment the subsequent deployment will deploy a new version of same ASG I know with any changes that you have made or any service to the service configuration files to the launch template ASG configuration file etc and uh, you can just imagine that it's kind of simple uh, when you go to AWS console and you can you know create a new version of your uh, ASG if I go to the execution history uh, here uh, and I'll go to this step. So basically, if I go to Canary Deploy, now we can see, you know, it has uh, deployed an USC with this uh, name. And once everything is fine, it had gone ahead and deleted that auto scaling group. And uh, finally, it has gone ahead and done a, a rolling deployment. So with that, uh, hopefully, this video would help you uh, know how to deploy AMI uh, with Harness. Uh, thank you for watching.